Hey, what is up guys? Klaus Mix here and welcome to another episode of Fitness Gimmick Friday, the show where we rip apart some fitness gimmick people seem to believe works. Now, as you've noticed, I'm not actually on the screen. Today, I'm going to be sitting behind the mic because we're going to look at some pictures together. Now, I'm going to pick on BuzzFeed a bit because, well, it's easy to pick on BuzzFeed because BuzzFeed is notorious for spewing out garbage and, uh, you know, leaving really clickbaity article titles and pictures and just sucking people into their garbage articles and whatever it is that makes the money from you clicking on their links or looking at their ads, whatever it is, they're notorious for, you know, putting out garbage for the people. So I'm going to pick on them a little bit. Today, we're going to look at some before and after pictures. Now, I personally am a huge fan of before and after pictures. I encourage all of my clients to take a picture the day that we start working together. And then I encourage them to take another one, you know, in a month, in six months, whatever. I'm a big believer in them because they make for really good milestones. So they're really good at tracking people's progress. I like them better than, you know, mirrors. I like them better than scales because it's something that is more long term and it's something that like doesn't shatter your confidence if you like step on the scale one day and it's heavier or you look in the mirror and you don't look so good before and after progress pictures are super concrete and you don't have much control over them so just to get that out there i'm a big fan of them and just as another disclaimer i don't want to discourage people from taking them after like a month or two months and they don't have much progress i still think they hold value i'm more talking about companies that are posting misleading before and after pictures to suck people into following their article doing their workouts buying their programs whatever it is that's giving them money and then that's more i'm coming at this at an angle of picking apart people who are cheating people out of their money i'm not trying to pick apart people or their own specific progress I'm just picking apart these marketing tactics. All right, so we have 10 pictures we're gonna go through together and we're gonna start with number one. So this is uh, day seven and day 20. I did 100 pull-ups for a day for 30 days and here's what happened. And so when you look at these transformation pictures, the first thing that your brain does is look for the progress. So the first thing that our eyes always go to is the abs. Is there a difference in the abs? So that's the first thing our eyes catch. But what our eyes don't immediately catch are all the little subtle differences. So the first thing we look for when we look at these before and after pictures is the location. Is the location the same? Backgrounds look different. The lighting is different. So that's going to make the biggest difference in how the picture turns out. So as you can see, the after picture, the lighting is better. So that shows a little bit more muscle definition. When you have a brighter light that you're standing underneath, it reflects your muscles and just displays them better. The next thing that we're going to look for is other little subtle differences. So the first thing that I see also, he's shooting in landscape mode in the first picture and he's shooting in vertical the second picture. So that can definitely impact how the picture turns out. It's also like it's a small difference, but how you hold your phone as you take the picture. His arm is further out, which is going to stretch out his chest, which is going to make it look flatter. In the second one, he's got his arm down, his arm is up. That's going to give him a bigger bicep pump and that's going to bring his chest out in the picture. Another thing, he's closer in the first picture than he is in the second one. He's a little bit further back. When you're closer up to the camera, more of the screen is taken up by his torso, right? So there's more surface area in the picture being taken up by his uh, stomach area, right? His torso, which gives the appearance that it's wider in the first picture than it is in the second picture because he's a little bit further back. Moving on to picture number two. So here we have uh, another BuzzFeed video. I actually watched this video. It's we trained like superheroes for 30 days. And this is the result. So the first thing we go to is the abs. Okay, there is a little bit more definition in the abs there. The rest of him looks about the same. So what that can tell us is that within 30 days, it is possible to bring your abs out like that if you just diet super hard. So yeah, exercising in the gym can also help, you know, burn calories. But if you're trying to sell a workout program, it might not make a huge difference because he may have just been cutting back on water a bit or sweating out water. We don't know. But it, a picture like this with such slight, small differences it could really just be from, you know, losing water weight to bring out the definition or it could be from a specific diet plan. He does look better in the second picture, but that shouldn't be enough for you to give them your money. All right, the next picture. So he's in the same background. He gets points for that. The first thing we look for, abs. Um, they don't really look 
that different. Uh, you can see that his angle of his body, he's twisted a little bit in the first one. In the second one, he's turned in a little bit more. His arm is brought up, like he's flexing his bicep a little bit more, makes his arms look bigger. He's got more of a tilt on his right side, the right picture, which is gonna bring out his traps. And uh, he's got his arm angled in the right picture to display his bicep, and the first one, he's hiding it. And then this, uh, of course, like there's other little differences like the expressions and the haircut, but you can see just how you pose in these pictures makes a huge difference. Picture number four, we lost 22% of body fat in six weeks. 22% <laughs> of body fat. That is, that is nuts. Okay. So, um, I don't really <laughs> see the difference. This, this woman could have just as easily sucked in, in the second picture. Um, the first one, her expression looks I don't, I don't, that's not a normal expression. She looks kind of derpy there. Uh, there's a plain white born background. In the second one, there's a nice blue uplifting background and she's got a nice smile. So you look at the first one, you're like, Bleh. you look at the second one, you're like, hey, look at these good vibes. Look at progress she made. Uh, she gets points for wearing the same thing, but these, <laughs> these pictures could have been taken in the same day. Picture five, we did 100 push ups every day for 30 days. All right, so person, oh no, he, he looks kind of pissed in both these pictures. I don't know what the expression is about, but uh, the lighting again is huge. The lighting is like actually super bright in the first one and lighting can have a really good effect, but if it's too bright, it can have an opposite effect and it can hide definition. So it looks like it's brighter on the left than it is on the right because you can't really see the definition or the defining lines between his pecs in the left picture like you can in the right. And uh, if you look at his elbows in the right picture, they're a little bit out with his wrists pointed towards his hips, which brings out the biceps and the shoulder definition. The first one, they're just kind of dangling by his side. The first one, his shoulders look kind of drooped. The second one, he looks like they're puffed up a little bit. And you know, the background colors are different. But uh, aside from that, I don't really see much of a difference here. Next picture, I trained like a gymnast for 30 days. Okay, ugh, where do you even begin on this one? I don't really know what this is trying to tell me. In the first one, he's like trying to do splits but can't. And the, the second one, he just looks jacked. I'm not sure what this has to do with being a gymnast because uh, he's wearing a shirt in the first picture. So that, so that really doesn't tell us much about where he was starting from. In the second one, I mean, he's looking good. Like, like that's a, uh, you know, it's very well edited. It looks like the lighting was perfect. It was shot in a studio, like really well done. Maybe he got an underwear deal for the right one, but the left one, he just took himself like a selfie in the gym. So I'm not really sure what this is supposed to tell us, but what the headline and this picture is supposed to tell us is that his 30 days of training like a gymnast gave him the results of the picture on the right. So a little bit misleading and doesn't really tell us much, but uh, you know, after you think about it and look at this, this makes no sense. But if you were only to look at this for like three seconds, you would think, holy crap, look at this guy's progress. All right, picture number seven. We dieted like Chris Pratt for 30 days. And there's Chris Pratt right in the middle. All right, so the guy on the left, his arms are reached up kind of like an ape that's angry. Someone stole his bananas. And on the right, we got a guy actually posing who looks confident and happy. So the guy on the left, um, his arms are stretched out like that because it flattens out the biceps a bit. In the second picture, his wrists are really curled in. That's gonna really make his biceps pop. Um, this pose doesn't tell us much for his chest it just the second one it looks like he actually knows how to pose the first one he's just got his arms over his head so he's definitely like flexing and like holding a good pose on the right with his chest lifted up he's kind of flaring his lats out a bit and uh on the first one he looks like he's kind of letting his gut hang and the second one he definitely looks like he's could be sucking in because i can see that ab definition on the left it just looks like someone who's like letting their gut hang and on the right, he's just sucking in like crazy. And of course he's wearing like, you know, they're, they're different shorts in the left picture and the right one. The right one looks a lot tighter, looks a lot better. And the same thing as that other picture, we got a white background before and a nice blue uplifting picture on the right. And his hair is all done up nice on the right. And he looks a little bit more of like a, a happy person. So it can be a little bit misleading. And I don't know, it doesn't look like Chris Pratt to me. <laughs> <laughs> but good on him for trying picture number eight people work out with instagram fitness trainers for 30 days i just hate this 30 days thing so much it's such a small amount of time and if you make any progress in 30 days it's not gonna last like anything that you get that quickly you can lose all equally that quickly uh but anyway i got a little bit distracted here the first one man that guy looks bombed that guy looks like he had a really 
rough day before he took this picture. And on the right, he is pumped. He even did his hair for the right picture. Man, he really must have developed himself as a person. Okay, so first one, arms are down. He's kind of droopy. Second one, his arms are up. He's flexing. He looks happy. Um, you know, he's wearing different shorts. That's really the only difference. It just looks like he, he's flexing in the right and he did his hair. So the difference in effort in each picture makes it look like a huge transformation picture, but really these were definitely shot in the same day. Or maybe I'm wrong and you should hire an Instagram fitness trainer for 30 days. Picture number nine, we did 100 push-ups every day for 30 days. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what to talk about here. Uh, so, uh, Okay, um, so he's wearing glasses in the first one. He took them off in the second one. And uh, he maybe looks like he's struggling to see because someone took his glasses away. I feel like they just like grabbed somebody off the street and like took his shirt off. They're like, hey, stand here. We'll give you 20 bucks. Okay, now we're going to take your glasses off. Yeah, we know you can't see, but uh, we, you know, it's just going to be a second. We need uh, people to think that push-ups are going to do something for you in 30 days. Perfect. Thank you. All right, and the last picture, I gained 20 pounds of muscle in 12 weeks. So that's like three months. That, That's an insane amount of uh, muscle gain. And this is what happened. So we've got a guy on the left, a guy on the right. Okay, he gets points for standing in the same pose. He's in the same place with the same lighting. You know, all everything looks exactly the same, which is like perfect. That's exactly how a good before and after picture should look. You know, the exact same environment. Uh, but the only thing here is that he's like wearing clothes on the left and on the right he's not So like we don't we have no clue where he started from. He's wearing a freaking t-shirt All his muscles are hidden except for maybe his biceps, but on the right Everything is uh, fully there and exposed. So really he just looks like he Took off his his shirt and his shorts and he took a picture and said hey I just put on 20 pounds of muscle in 12 weeks. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I'm not doing this to try and beat anybody down and say that their hard work and effort within 30 days is pointless and don't bother documenting it. I definitely think you should. I just think that it is garbage when people are photoshopped or they're creatively shot in the first picture and the second picture to make you think that they gain progress so that they can sell a product to you or get you to click their video or article quicker. Uh, I just don't like when people are being lied to and that's what this whole series is about. So if you did like it, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you have not yet. This fitness gimmick has been gutted. I don't have like the laptop here, but just like imagine I'm like aggressively closing my laptop.